Hi there, Sandra here from The Schwalben's Nest. Today I'm going to show you how to print images on tissue paper. Let's talk about printers. This is the one I use. It's from HP and it's an inkjet printer. And what that means is that each of the little cartridges have liquid ink in them. If you're using a laser printer, laser printers come with toner, which is in a powder format and it's usually on a really big spool. So this is the first step. You're gonna take a piece of printer paper and then cut just regular gift wrap tissue paper into a size that's about, as you can see here, about a half an inch or an inch smaller than your printer paper. Tape it all the way across the top. And this is the top part that's going to be going into your printer first. Then you're gonna to want to do about part way down the sides and a little bit down at the bottom. You can see here that I keep smoothing it out and making sure that I don't have any bubbles in it. Sometimes you can't make it totally flat, that's okay, but you wanna try and get it as bubble free as possible. Next, you'll need to put your item that you're going to be printing, your graphic, your image, onto some type of word processing document. I'm using Google Drive. By all means, if you have a Mac, use what's native to the Mac, or you can use Microsoft Word as well. You're going to insert that image right onto your document. You're going to resize it if you need to. I need this to be just a little bit smaller, so I click on it and then drag the image smaller using those arrows in the corner. Next, I'm going to want to center the image on the page just to make sure that I don't have any of my image going off the tissue paper or onto the tape. Next, I'm going to copy this image and paste another one right below it. I do this because sometimes my printer does do some smudging and then I can choose which image looks the best. Finally, I'm going to go to my file menu and I'm going to click the print button and send it to my printer, making sure that I have my paper already inserted. Next, I'm going to cut out what I want and I'm choosing the bottom image. I'll save that top one for another project down the road. Using a smaller pair of scissors so I have more control, I'm going to be cutting out all the way around the image and I usually leave about an eighth of an inch white space on the tissue paper itself. You don't want to have too much extra and the other thing you want to remember is make sure you have rounded edges. So even if your image is square, round off those edges because they will just lay so much nicer onto your project. When I'm working with objects that are round, I usually try to use something to brace it at the bottom so it doesn't roll around all over the place. Now I'm just using a couple of these little wood pieces that were left over from a different project and I'm going to make sure that it's nicely centered. Using matte Mod Podge and a small brush, I'm going to paint the Mod Podge where the label is going to be on my teapot. Now you don't want a ton of Mod Podge on here. You don't want it to be slippery or slick. You just want enough on there that it's going to tack down your tissue paper. I like to pick up my image using my paintbrush. It just helps me to center it on my project. And then once I've got it laid down where I want it to be, I'm going to gently start using my paintbrush and the Mod Podge and start from the center and then just push my way out. The one thing you want to remember always is have Mod Podge on your brush. If your brush is too dry, the tissue paper might tear. Always have a little bit of Mod Podge and if you missed some spots underneath here like I did, I didn't go far enough at the bottom, just very gently try and pull that up. But once it's stuck down, it's not gonna come up unless it tears. Then you're just gonna continue working on this like you would regular paper, pushing those bubbles out. The other thing I do is I pounce on it. So I take my paintbrush and I dip it in a little bit of Mod Podge again and I use a pouncing motion up and down on any wrinkles or any bubbles around the edges and that just secures that tissue paper down even more. 
the last step to make sure my tissue paper stays intact is to spray my projects with a clear matte finish or you can simply go over the rest of your project with Mod Podge. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you learned something new and you are excited to try some tissue paper printing. If you want to learn more, here's a couple more tutorials that might help you out. Bye for now.